Hi guys, how are you? This is Leslie. Welcome to another of my videos. Um, so my hair is like kind of done because today we're going to be testing this beauty right here. Um, this is like, I consider it like a dupe for the Dyson blow dryer. Um, this is from Revlon and I've had it for a week, I think. Yeah, probably like a week. Um, and I'm going to be like telling you how I use it, um, the good things I see on it and yeah basically like reviewing it so if you want to know more about this tool this hair dryer then keep on watching and if you're unsubscribed to my channel yet you can do so by clicking on the bottom down below and also like let me know what kind of videos you want to see for this year I would love to see like your recommendations uh, but yeah for now without further ado let's jump in okay so this is basically how I start and this is the shape of this um, like hair dryer kind of thing it's very very similar to the Dyson one. The only difference is that this one doesn't come with like different heads and this is a little bit bigger which can be a little bit more difficult if you have really really short hair. Like mine's kind of like medium so it's not that bad um, but for short hair maybe it will be kind of hard to reach like your roots and, kind of, and things like that. To start off I always use this prime and prep detangler and it's also a heat protectant this is from dry bar and it's honestly like my ultimate favorite products for my hair especially because i do my hair every single day so i want to make sure that it's fully protected and i don't burn it out also because i've been like, taking care of my hair so so much like if you watch my videos from a year ago my hair was burned because I bleached it well like I went to a place to bleach it and get balayage um, so like I'm trying to like grow that out and it's almost all gone uh, but yeah like first what I do is brush out my hair just to like make it easier because like that brush could brush your hair but I just don't want it to get like tangled or anything like that and it's like this like it's literally like straight out of the shower and then what you gotta do is separate it into sections so I actually like lost my, um, what is it called, for like the hair to separate it. So I'm going to use a hair tie. So I'm actually I'm just going to split it probably like into sections because I don't have that much hair. And there are different levels on this thing. We have the cool, low, and high. Um, I honestly never use a cool uh, button but you're supposed to after putting heat into your hair you're supposed to cool it off so that it stays like that and it, your hair cells last longer um, and the low and the high they are just like the blow dryer things um, this is how it sounds on each one So that's the cool, low, and high. And actually, like I watched so many videos before buying this, and the noise was like really, really loud. But in person, it's not. It's actually like less noisy than an actual blow dryer. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how I do like this section, and I will compare it. So I have my low section, and I just put it in two. And now I'm gonna use the high. So you can see, I don't know if you can see it correctly, but this is like almost all dried out comparing it to this other section. So I'm gonna do the other half. I'm gonna have like a close up so I can show you guys. This is like already blow dry, kind of. It's like 90%. I have to like go um, a couple more times with it. And this is like 
the part that is like all damped I don't know I honestly like love it so so much it saves me so much time because before I would blow dry my hair and then use a straightener and it's also like more time and more heat and this doesn't leave your hair like completely like slick straight um, but it adds volume and I think it looks so pretty and it looks more natural than having it like just completely straight approximately like takes me 15 to 20 minutes to do my whole hair I would also like hear from some videos that this thing would um, get hot like really really fast and honestly like I don't feel that happens with this one and the good thing or like something that I really love about this um, hair dryer is that I don't have to like get scared of burning myself or like putting it too close to me because it's not that hot it's not like a straightener that or yeah a straightener that you would or you could potentially burn yourself As you can see guys like this is already like blow dry and it has like that volume on the ends of my hair and I don't know if you noticed but when I do my hair I first do it like towards the inside and then I take it and do it like up to have like that like waves on the ends of my hair and so I make sure that everything is blow dry completely okay so this is almost done now like the last step some parts of my roots are still like humid so I just go with a low um, section or the low level and kind of like just brush it out And that's literally it like I do go back with my strainer to strain this section right here of my bangs the ones that where I fail um, and I also like go back with my brush and that's it it's literally like super easy and it takes me probably like 15 minutes the most but that's also because I don't have that much hair and I love the volume that it gives it and like I don't know it's like if you went to the salon or something um, it's literally like one of my best investments that I've made um, and this retails for $35 I bought it from Amazon so I'm gonna leave the link down below if you want to check it out and they have different colors but I think like the blue one was more expensive just so the color uh, would make which makes no sense to me but um, um, yeah I love it so so much it makes my daily routine so much easier um, and yeah, I don't think like I have any more things to say about this one. Yeah, I think it's a great replacement of the Dyson if you don't have that much money. Because honestly, like spending $500 on Dyson, I don't have that money. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys really like this video. And if you try it out, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't like it, then also let me know in the comments why you don't like it. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you all in one of my next videos. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye, guys.